Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Welcome wherever you're watching us from, wherever you're grabbing us from, wherever you're listening from. This is the Kampasa Magazine. Now, <coughs> let's cross over to um, Asia, where there are a number of elections which are taking place. And these elections, of course, are moving country by country. We are seeing um, Turkey, Turkey, they are heading for election. And also Thailand, they have just concluded their election. Yeah, Thailand, yeah. You must be knowing that, <laughs> that country because... Uh, Thailand, uh, when you talk about Thailand, most people think about Japan, they think about movies, and actually the first movie that comes into your your mind should be Hong Bak, <laughs> a, movie, a movie by Tony Ja, sometimes Bak, and other movies are along that line. But here, we are not talking about, um, <coughs> about movies, we are talking about election, which has just ended in Thailand, where the current government, I could say maybe, okay, the government which has been uh, like in power for over a decade was trounced. Yes. So there is this young group of um, young people who came up and started a, a political party. They called it Move Forward Party, MFP Party. And basically the combination, the content, and uh, most of the leaders are young, young people. They came and challenged the current government, which was a military government, which has led Thailand for over 15, 15 years, but these young people, just like in Uganda, where people power and noob came and uh, made a lot of noise, trying to change a lot of things. So these young people came and challenged like the government. And guess what? Yes, they won that election. They won that election in Thailand. Apparently, the capital city of uh, Thailand, that is Bangkok, was having a lot of celebrations here and there because of the, the when that reformist uh party won majority of the seats in the election which took place on Sunday and results just came out and uh, we are seeing a lot of celebrations here. So according according to uh, reports coming from Thailand, we are seeing that these people won over 280, 286 seats. Yes, in the 500 member said that's the majority representation in their parliament. It should, it should also be noted that Thailand is one of those largest, I think it's the second largest economy in Southeast Asia because just immediately after Indonesia, you know, Indonesia has majority of the population, but Thailand comes on the number two and it's ranked number four in the whole of that area with a GDP of around $7,000. Now, that is what has been happening in Thailand and uh, congratulations to the winners, congratulations to the boys for the job well done. I think that, that that was a real, real job because coming up, having that courage to come and challenge the current government, given they have like the military, the, the military kind of support and everything. And also the democracy they had, the election process and everything that was really, really so, so good of um, uh, that side of Thailand, but also or maybe crossing over to the neighboring country that is the Turkey. They, they are having their, actually, they had the election and they are still counting uh, results. They are counting results. They are counting results. So we are talking about, um, we are talking about, uh, Thailand. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, um, Crossing over to Turkey, they are going to have the election in the next few days, which is going to take place on the 14th of May. And this is going to, this is a hotly contested election. This is a hotly contested election because we are seeing, uh, the, the guy who has been in power for long, hmm? we are talking about, uh, Andrew Gunn, uh, is being challenged by his, uh, by the major position that is Kemal and this election may see a dramatic change in the politics of uh, Turkey because Endrogan of AKP, uh, we are seeing if there is any other chance of uh, him winning, then it is so, so minute because opposition has put a lot of effort in this election. As we promised you, this is the Campasa Magazine, a production of the Campasa Magazine called The Insights. Don't only subscribe on the button, but we shall keep you updated with the reports as they come. I sign out, Minyata.